Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And for those who have not read the title today, today we are comparing the Adidas Dame 5 versus the Nike Carry 5. Highly anticipated comparison. Let's go. Let's get it. Now before we get started, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video and show your support like you guys already do. Comment down below what your pick is between the Kyrie 5 and the Dame 5. And of course, don't forget to hit that beautiful subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Kyrie Irving and Damon Lillard are two of the most electric and exciting point guards in the NBA today. Kyrie Irving is not only one of the most skillful players in the NBA, but he's also been dubbed arguably the most skillful player of all time. I hear it, I actually hear it. It's the handles, bro. I hear it. It's the handles. And Damian Lillard has not only proven himself to be one of the premier players in Ooh. this league, but also as an all-time great shooter and an all-time great clutch basketball player. It's mad. Yeah, the, the, the dude is crazy. Give him the fourth quarter, he'd be good. But today we are not talking about the players themselves. Thank you. Today we are talking about the sneakers that they hoop in. Which one is better? Let's get straight into it. As always, starting out with the aesthetics of both of these shoes, the Dame 5 is cold. The Dame it's 5 right. is cold. It's right. This colorway is a black culture colorway. Yep. It's Surprisingly, cold. we also have the BHM on this side. Surprisingly, was it a coincidence? Or was it on purpose? You guys will never know. BHM goes hard as well. It does. They're both very clean looking shoes, even in the colorways to match, which is better. It's a Kyrie thing. It's a Kyrie thing. It's a Kyrie thing. It's a Kyrie thing. I just feel like that colorway plus the colorways to come, and we've already seen the shape of the shoe, the trap. Yeah, what do you want? It's cold. cold. Now, next up, we have the traction in both these shoes. Now, talking about Kyrie Irving, yeah. uh, not just this shoe, yeah. but all his shoes, they have been known for amazing traction patterns. No. Probably the best traction patterns in the game, yeah. as in the, the complete package of yeah. all of his shoes. Yeah. Now, his fifth shoe, unfortunately, is a bit lackluster compared to his previous shoes yep. and what we expect from a Kyrie Irving basketball exactly. shoe. Here we have the all-seeing eye traction pattern. We have load of coverage, you know, it, it bites the floor decently well, yep. but compared to the rest, it just didn't give us that 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 solid bite that we wanted. Well, no, we've come, we've grown accustomed to, grown yeah. used to. I hear that. By no means this is a bad traction pattern. It's still good, but compared to what we've had before, and other shoes in the game as well. Such as this one. Such as that one, Such which Tim will get to a second. Get to Unfortunately, second. it didn't perform as well. But the Kairi 5 traction pattern is still really good, just not as good as its predecessors. I'm not gonna lie, or as good as Dame 5. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Predecessors, Dame 5, it's just not as good. Here in the Dame 5, we've got that don't fix it if it ain't broke herringbone. Yeah. Don't fix it if it ain't broke herringbone. And it's actually surprising because the shoe before, obviously Dame 5 had more of a tiger stripe, yep. which wasn't herringbone, but they've gone back to herringbone being the classic, the vet, and it did that shoe trick. Yeah. The bite was there. It was super, super um, great. That's the word I'm, it's not the word I'm looking for. Super, super it's gonna, great. It's calm. Super, super great. It's yep. gonna work really well here. It didn't pick up too much dust, no. which is really, really strong. It wiped away, any dust it did pick up wiped away really well. Traction pattern works outdoors too. I'm sure you're gonna be good. So that's all the boxes ticked. So I think that's a point for the Dame 5. You don't need to think to me. And then uh, we'll move on. You don't need to think, you know. All right. You know it's a point to the Dame Let's 5. move on. Now, next up, we're talking about cushioning. Yeah. Now, we know what you guys are thinking, all right? We love bounce. We do. But this one is tough. Tough. Dame 5 is fine-tuned bounce. Yeah. We've heard it even before, it's cushioned, it's low profile, it's responsive, it's comfortable. So many boxes ticked. But this Nike Zoom Air Turbo, this Nike Zoom, sorry, sorry for shouting. I know, I get that, I'm just, it's fine. But bro, Oof. this four foot zoom unit. One of our favorites out. This articulated four foot zoom unit is insane. Yep. Probably the best four foot zoom yep. experience that we've had in a basketball shoe. It's just incredible. I'm with it. But unfortunately, when you're talking cushioning, yeah. it's not just the forefoot. It's not, you need not the whole time, no. thing. It needs to be the whole package. And the Danes clocked it. I'm with it. Bounce, full length, front to back, everywhere, it's got you. Unfortunately, even though the EVA is a little bit soft in the heel. Yeah, true. It's just dominated by this amazing forefoot zoom unit. If the Carry 5 maybe had a heel zoom unit, yeah. 
than it would be competing with the Dame Fives? It's, it's just not. But the Dame it's Fives is not. the winner. Now, if we're talking four foot bounce, then yeah, maybe we could have a conversation. Then we could. We did have a conversation for no real reason. It's a Dame Fives thing. Next up, talking about materials, over here in the Calvary 5, we have this overall engineered mesh construction with a medley of synthetic overlays. Notably, this fuse in the forefoot and then this knitted light material in the heel, which is actually quite nice in the BHN, but it's different in other colorways. How did it perform? It was decent. Yeah. I like the structure of it. Yep. I like the rigidity of it. Same. The only thing I don't like is that it does require some braking time. Not the craziest. Yep. We, have, we have experienced some shoes that have really mad braking time. True. Not gonna mention any names, Curry 4, but this shoe does require some braking time. Fair. Okay. I don't know what you've got for me, Timmy. Um, you know, I, I will start with this. I will require very minimal breaking time in the Dame 5. And that's, I've kind of gone with the main event because in the Dame 5, we do have that mesh material in the forefoot kind yeah. of throughout, and then it's backed up by some suede in the back. So the shoe's kind of split into two. Now, both materials are lightweight. Both are, I would say, somewhat structured, but not yeah. definitely not as structured as the Kyrie 5. However, they're soft, which meant breaking time was pretty minimal and they just felt really comfortable on foot throughout. So it's a lovely material, super flexible, breathable, lightweight as well. I love them. And the fact that the breaking time was low, lower than the Kyrie 5, I think that's a boy. Straight winner. It's a winner, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Say no more. I'm happy with that. Pleases me. Now, of course, we just finished talking about materials. Now it's time to talk about fit. Yep. Now the Dame 5, I mess up with a fit. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. It's lovely, in fact. Only issue I had is that the shoe looks really wide. It's the outrigger. It's the outrigger, isn't it? Yeah. But it just looks, when you're looking down, it looks really wide. Now, I honestly feel as if it's doing something to my mind and my psyche because <laughs> they feel wide, but they're not wide. They're a regular fitting shoe, yeah. I know that. But because of how wide they look, <laughs> they somehow feel wide as well. But I did still really like the fit. Yeah. They felt really, really nice. The materials, again, like I said, were comfortable. They were flexible, so the breaking time was easy as well. Fit was decent. Okay. Very decent, in fact. But it's a close one. I'm gonna tell you that now. I don't know about a close one because close the fit one. over here wasn't decent to me. It's a the fit over here was amazing. It's the first time we've seen in the Kyrie shoe this fly trap lacing system in the lockdown, bro. The lockdown is sweet. We'll get to that. Good. Yeah. The shoe fits regular as well. Yeah. If you're in whatever size you are, get that size. I'm a size 10. I've got the size 10 and yep. the shoe fits perfectly fine. Just everything you hear in this Kyrie shoe, fit wise, is perfect to me. You're Almost perfect anyway. You're making a good point. And I think the point that I'm making is so good that I think I deserve a point. You think you deserve a point? I do. Are you going to give it to hold me? Hold on. Do you think you deserve a point or does the carry 5 deserve a point? I apologize. I think the carry 5 deserves a point. Okay, I'm, I'm on board with that. On my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the support in both shoes. And here in the carry 5, that comes from the overall lockdown of the shoe, supported by the fly trap technology. I hear that. Over your head, no? No, you just said that. You got it, yeah? We also have the outrigger of the shoe for lateral support and also the internal heel counter to obviously make sure that heel is locked in and everything just locked down nicely. And that is what the Carry 5 does. I think that this is probably one of the most supportive shoe for guards. Yeah. I know a lot of bigs like to wear this shoe as well. That's true. Because of how good the support is and it also gives you that lightweight support, which is something that you definitely want. So yeah, the support in the Carry 5 bangs. Okay. Bangs. Moving swiftly on. Dame 5. It's good support. It's good support. It's good support. I don't know what it is. I think it goes back to the fit and the materials. The yeah. probably the materials, they're softer, so we don't quite get that structured rigidity we said about earlier in the Kyrie 5. Yeah. In the Dame 5, they're just so soft, it's le definitely less restrictive, yeah. which is a good thing. However, this mid-top kind of like height of the shoe isn't very effective. You're not getting much ankle coverage when we're talking support here. It is super soft, which is again, good. But if you're looking for a supportive shoe as a guard, I think the Kyrie 5 is your best bet. Most definitely. Ticking those boxes, a supportive guard shoe for guards, as a guard, yeah. it's Kyrie 5 too. Sorry, I didn't, you didn't mention the point. The point I legit there. said, it's a Kyrie 5 thing. What else can that mean, Flo? You, know, you, said, you said that the Kyrie 5 has better support, but you didn't That's say That's not what I said. But you said. I said, if you're looking for a guard, if you're a guard and you're looking for a supportive 
Guard shoe yes. as a guard. The Kyrie five is your best bet. What Sweet. more do you want from me? No, no. I just want to ask. Does that imply the Kyrie five gets the point? How does that imply when I've already said your best bet is a Kyrie five? What are you trying to do here? It's just have you. Seen, what do you want? No, I want from the words. Me? I want the words. You want Ky- the words. Kyrie five gets the point. You want Kyrie five gets the. That's what you want. That's what I want. Last and most certainly not least, we have the price, which for those of you that don't know is my favorite category of these comparisons, the price. Now the Dame 5 is priced at a lovely 90 pounds here in the UK, retail price. And the Carry 5 is priced at 115 pounds. Now this comparison isn't only about which shoe is priced lower, it's about which shoe is better value for your money. That's it. With that being said, the point goes to the Dame 5. 100%! Easily. Easily. You save £25 for a shoe that performs better. In many, many categories. Like, let that sizzle in your spirit one time, yeah? You save £25 for a shoe that performs better. I got love for Nike Air Zoom Turbo. Of course. Bangs. The flagship technology, Bangs. amazing. I want to save £25. That's all I got. I want to save it. Do you know what you could do with 25 pounds? Bro, you can Go do in, a lot. Yeah, you can head to Pro Direct right now. Right now. Click order with your 115 pounds, get the Dame 5, and have changed your cup of tea, some Bro, socks. As we speak right now, Nando's. the Dame 5s are on sale in Pro Direct. Oh! Yeah, so if you had you 115 pounds, you could buy these for 60 pounds and have 55 pounds left. Quick maths. You'd have 55 pounds left. So add another five on top. That's two pairs of Dame Fives. Two per. But if you didn't want that, socks and shorts sorted. Nah, you're good to go. Value Come for on, money. Man. Come on, man. So, right, guys, there you have it. Looking at the scores, it's 4 free to the Dame Five. But this one was a close one. Yep. In a few categories, it came down to the wire. But when we're talking cushioning, materials, traction, and great value for money. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. By no means is the Kyrie 5 a bad shoe. Like we just said, it came down to the wire. Does depend on your preferences. If you're looking for a supportive shoe, hmm, it's the one. That's the one. If you're looking for something less supportive or whatever it is, go with the Dame 5. So you're good, even pretty way. Yeah. It's up to you. It's a preference. That's it. That's it from us. If you want either the Kyrie 5 or the Dame 5, head over to the description box below. Click the link to the Polarip website and they'll take care of you. These are on sale right now, so I'll jump on that ship right now. But before you do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video and show your support. Comment down below what your pick is between the Kyrie 5 and the Dame 5. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So all right, team, that's it from us. This is the Adidas Dame 5. Nike Kyrie 5. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.